fit. It's all mathematics. I'm mighty most deaf. It's simple mathematics. Check it out. I'll revolve around science. What are we talking about here? All right, not sure how the volume is going to work here, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show how you can do a couple of these uh, problems uh, so you can check your work. So I've written down the formula for volume here. So I have a cylinder on top and a rectangular prism on the bottom. So therefore, I have the formula for formula for volume of a cylinder plus the formula for volume of a rectangular prism. Uh, so then I uh, pi r squared times h plus base times height times depth of the rectangular prism. And because one is on top of the other, we're going to add the volumes together. All right, so we have pi times 12 squared times 16 plus 23 times 20 times 8. So it ends up being pi times uh, 144 times 16. And then I'll just grab my calculator. All right, for the other part, so I have 23 times 20 times 8 equals 3080. So I have 3,680, sorry. All right, so then I have pi times 144, so 3.14 times 144 times 16 equals 7,234.56. All right, so we end up with 7,234.56. Plus 3,680, which is equal to, all right, plus 3,680 equals 10,914.56. 10,940 decimal five six. Now this is going to be centimeters cubed. That's a really big number. All right, so maybe we can convert it into meters. All right, what would that be? So we'd end up with centimeters. So then we'd have to move it two decimal places, right? So that would be a hundred. That would be uh, that would be one hundred and nine decimal one four one five meters cubed, so that's a more reasonable number, right? All right, if you wanted to do some conversion and show a different level of math. All right, so that's volume, all right? Surface area is going to be the surface area of the cylinder, but we don't have the bottom. We can't really see the bottom. So we know that it's going to be the area of the top and the bottom. We have two of those, all right, plus the area of this rectangle, and we know that the rectangle all right, the cylinder part is the circumference times the height. So we have 2 pi r h plus, normally we'd have 2 pi r squared, but we only have one of those. So we have pi r squared, all right? Plus 2 times the face, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but then we have this top which is going to be minus the area of that circle, right? So then we're going to have 2 times base height 1 plus 2 times base height 2 plus 2 times base height 3. But we're going to be the base height 3, all right, is going to be minus, okay, minus pi r squared. All right, but we're going to figure that one out all the way over here, so we don't have to do that calculation twice. All right, so we'll go ahead and put in our numbers. 2 pi times 12 times 16 plus pi times 12 squared plus 2 times 23 times 20 plus 2 times 20 times 8 plus uh, 23 and plus, oh, we should have done, sorry, this should have been, we want that front face, so 8 times 23, then we're going to do our last uh, 
2 times 20, 3 times 20, alright, minus pi times 12 squared. Alright, so really long formula, hopefully you can see that. So then I'm going to end up with 6.28 times 12 times 16 equals 192, 192 plus pi times 144 plus 2 times, or we can go ahead and do that all because it's all multiplication. So we're going to go 2 times 8 times 23 equals 368 plus 2 times 20 times 8 320 plus 2 times 23 times 2 times 23 times 20 equals 920 920 minus 5 times 144 alright, sorry, minus 5 times 144 Alright, so now we're going to go all the way back to the beginning here, and we end up with uh, 6.28 times 192 equals 1205.76 plus 3.14 times 144 equals I'll say 452.16 plus 368 plus 320 plus 920 minus 452.16 because that's what we got here equals plus 467.84 which equals add these all up together. Thousand five decimal seven six plus four fifty two decimal one six plus three sixty eight plus three twenty plus four seventy. Oh, sorry. I just took off seventy seven decimal eight four equals minus 10 because I did it oops, by 10. So we end up with 2,813.76 and that's going to be centimeters squared. So again if we wanted to convert it into meters we'd end up with 28.14 meters squared. All right. So that's how you would do that one there, okay? Alright, so it's a lot of calculating, a lot of formula. But if you look at this one, it's going to be cylinder on top, alright, cylinder on the bottom. So you're going to end up with volume of a cylinder plus volume of a cylinder plus volume of a rectangular prism all together. Surface area is going to be SA of a cylinder plus a cylinder plus a rectangular prism. Okay, same thing, but you're going to have to subtract the face of this and the face of this. Okay? Alright? From the top and the bottom. Okay, that's the tricky part. Coming over here. Alright? Here you're going to do a triangular prism with the height here. Alright, okay. Now you can take this one as an equilateral triangle if you want to be able to do it. That way you know the length of this side. Okay, and then you're going to subtract the cylinder hole from it. So that's going to be volume of a triangle, volume of a triangular prism minus the volume of a cylinder. Okay, this one is going to be volume of a cylinder minus volume of a cylinder. Alright, surface area of a triangular prism plus the surface area of 
the cylinder part. All right, just the cylinder part. Okay, because that would be the inside walls of that. Okay, surface area here is going to be surface area of a cylinder. Okay, surface area of a cylinder. Okay. Sorry, but this one also minus the face on both sides. Okay, surface area of the cylinder minus the face on both sides, and then plus the cylinder part of the cylinder here. Okay, and this one same thing. A cylinder, three cylinders, all different sizes. So you have to add cylinder plus cylinder plus cylinder. Okay, and that's how you go about doing that. So if you needed help with any of that, uh, um, please come and see me. All right, and we'll discuss the answers in a bit. It's all mathematics. Mighty most simple mathematics. Check it out.